Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our Fixed Perspective Scrollout. Today I wanted to add a UI to our game because we already have some combat and I would like to start seeing our level experience and our HP and more. So I decided to make a canvas which I set here. I made it screen space overlay. I made a... I'm going to do it again so I'll show you how I do it. I scale it with screen size so it's going to be dynamic depending on which resolution we play I mean independently of which resolution we play reference resolution is going to be full HD and then I went on to make an image so I'm going to do the image again here in our canvas I'm going to add a new UI image which is going to serve as our, our background and how I'm going to set it is what we can do is just set the anchor point you see we can set the anchor point here I'm going to set it to the top left and what that will do is bring the anchors to the left and you see our position changed automatically to keep the image at the center so I want to make all these values back to zero and the width and height everything is zero so we have just a single dot on the left corner and the pivot, I want to make it zero so that it starts from the left and one so it starts from the top of our image. So you will see that now that we have set this image like that, whenever we start increasing the width and the height, you will see something starts popping up from the corner. So I'm going to give it a width of 500 and a height of 200 maybe 500 is not enough so I'm gonna give it 700 and I think 250 will do something like that probably maybe it's too much maybe just stick with 200 we're gonna do a better design for our UI eventually right now just let's do some template so we can display some information and this is the position Y I'm going to give it minus 20 and position X minus 20 so that it doesn't stick right to the side of our of our screen that's called padding so we give it a little bit padding now I'm going to change the color of our sprite I'm going to click here and I'm going to give it some transparency so it looks like this and that was what I, I think this is what I started with in the video something like that so now we can start placing some things so I think we're going to have a picture of our character here when we design our character which we're going to have a character design phase like you can select hairs you can select skin colors whatever you want of course we still have a long way to get there but we're going to show that photo here I'm going to show the level I think next to the picture we're going to have a vertical bar or if it's a circular picture we're going to have a round bar around which is going to show the experience then next to it the level then our HP our energy or mana or whatever we use for our game and uh, I think that's the most of the information we need right now and maybe some buttons to like open like options and inventory etc so let's do this first we're going to make as a child we're going to make a UI image and I'm going to select the knob with each which is just a circle and again I'm going to set it to the left not right now it's going to be only the middle left and I'm going to set this back to zero so it's there and the pivot is going to be zero too so I set it right there and I want to make it a bit bigger so maybe 150 times 150 so maybe 200 times 200 we're going to have a picture like that I'm also going to make this transparent the orange just to remind us that we will have a picture there and we are going to have a bar here showing our experience so I'm going to also here let me rename this first I'm going to call this um, avatar underscore picture okay and also I'm going to create a new image it's going to be like this and we will use a yeah we just use this no sprite at all 
we're going to make one later the height is going to be 200 and the width is going to be 30 the height might be 180 better or 150 and we're going to move it to the left so we want to set the pivot there and then put it about 230 200 and 10 and this is going to be let's see if we can use this sliced yes perfect fill center we can do it like this and then we're going to duplicate this and we're going to put it inside and the one that we have inside is just going to be the fill so for the fill we can use none mm, no we cannot use none we need to use something to fill maybe UI sprite and we're going to fill the center and how we're going to do it is fill like this um, let me think can I just use this yeah probably this is better field is still going to be weird we just need a square picture we don't have one so I'm going to create one I'm going to go to Photoshop and I'm just going to make a new file I'm going to make it power of 2 so I'm going to make a whatever um, 32 times 32 is this even power of 2? 8 16 32 yes I'm just going to call it uh, white underscore square and I'm going to save this <laughs> fastest Photoshop ever we're going to save it in oh and here's all the thumbs I made with Photoshop maybe sometime I, I could I could show you how I make this these thumbs like how do I get this image from unity and just edit them some basic Photoshop lesson let me know if you want that if you want to know how I make this thumbnails anyway I'm going to save this on desktop because we're going to drag it into our project so I go here get the white square and pull it back into unity our assets now we have it and for the fill we're going to use the white square which needs to be set to texture type uh, sprite 2d I'm gonna apply and I can select it from my UI image so white square and it's just a white square but I realized hmm, it can't be the child can it can it uh, 28 with maybe 26 yeah and 146 so it doesn't feel and go out the borders oh and right and in the new unity functions we can actually scale the game view so we can see but it's better if we scale here in the scene view so you see right now I do it and we have like border coming out so maybe it's 25 and 140 Five, still too much 24 almost there 20 oops 23 and 143 so that fills our our bar our experience bar and we want this to be another color I think I like experience to be purple I'm going to choose something like this I think that looks great Okay, and if you want, we could make the border. So this is the border. I'm going to call it experience. And this is going to be field underscore bar. Mm, this is going to be filled, but the fill method is going to be vertical. And we start filling from the bottom. So we start with zero and we start filling our experience and the amount is one we're going to level up and it's going to go back to zero 
so we want to show the we could show the level down here we could show it up here or we could show it on the side we can make this later we could make this like circle a semi-circle around this this picture it would be i think better uh, right now i want to make this a little bit transparent like this yeah i'm going to add the level so experience we could have the amount of experience but we're not going to show it yet uh, i need to add, this is going to be background we need to add a text which is going to be font size is 30 it's going to say our, our level and we need to overflow and overflow so we can actually see it and i'm going to place this under our experience i'm just going to anchor it to the top bottom left sorry left bottom corner make it zero zero the pivot point is going to be zero and one because now we want to be on top of the ui so oh no it needs to be zero sorry i said the opposite thing so oops what happened okay uh level uh, the position is zero the width now maybe we want to drag it to the side here if you i think that's that will work position what my zero broke help okay uh <laughs> it's time to buy a new keyboard and i don't have money for that anyway uh we're at level one we have some experience we want to have our our hp and our mana so we're going to just copy this experience and i'm going to call it health points and hey lucas that's the same but we need to make it horizontal so the only thing we do is change this to 300 or even more uh, we can change it to 400 and this to 30 and we have it and for the field bar which is change uh we do the same so it should be um seven pixels from the size so it's going to be 293 we put back this into zero zero the pivot is zero and 0 0.5 so it's 293 height is 23 and it's not quite right and let me see oh yeah it's back to zero zero how much did i make this oh width is 400 so 393 and the height how much is the height the height is 30 oh because the fill amount is a half so we actually need to fill it from this time it's horizontal from the left so we fill it like this and one more thing we need to do is change the health points to switch it to the right so i'm going to set the pivot point to be one and set the anchor to the right center of the of our image which is our background and i'm going to set this to zero and you see it went to the middle there and zero so we can give it a margin so for example 50 oh, sorry minus 50 and it's going to be there maybe if minus 50 is too much minus 30 and we can pull it up a little bit around there maybe just 10 pixels and we're going to change the color of the field bar to some kind of green most games use green let's just keep we do all tradition oops and not so clear that and we want to copy this one more time and use our skill underscore points which is going to allow us to do skills so maybe some characters have skill points some other characters might use energy points rage or some other things some other combinations 
right now we're going to just set it like this so I think it needs to be at least minus 30 and we're going to set the color to you guessed blue something like that so actually we could separate them even further so we can actually have some text between it so we can have like the current amount out of the total amount uh, just for uh, making it more clear we could have this and inside we have a UI text I'm going to make it a consistent size of word font size 30 overflow overflow it's going to be I don't want to have it inside so typical so I'm just going to have a let me just type this first HP 100 out of 200 but I'm going to place this here you see I'm going to place the anchor point on the left bottom corner and the Y position is going to be zero and the X is going to be zero so when I press zero here oops um, this should be one so when I do this I'm right below it yeah great and I'm going to do the same for I'm just going to copy this text and paste it inside the skill points and I'm going to set it back to zero zero and change the text to SP SP and this can be something else like we are warriors like we have we use sword swordsmen so it's going to have much less SP so maybe 20 out of 40 okay and I just made made it to be on half so it's easier for us to feel feel bar is going to be at 0 0.5 in both cases so our UI is at least showing some information that is useful for us and I think we need to give it functionality so it actually reads how much HP we have and update the information accordingly same for the SP and the experience but I think for that I'm going to make another video because now it's getting late and I need to sleep tomorrow I have to work so thank you very much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it as always and if you could please give a like to this video comment on it just whatever just saying hi would help a lot and remember to subscribe thank you guys love you goodbye Psh. Oh, I didn't even need to do that.